Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to move your VirtualBox VM from one drive to another or one folder to another depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, there are several ways to go about this. Um, some methods are better than others and some methods actually might not work depending how you're doing it. So I'm going to show you a couple ways but just kind of go over a few other ways here so you can have an idea what your options are. Okay, so we have three Windows 10 VMs that are on the C drive, and then we have one Windows 11 on the D drive. So I want to move VMs from the C drive over to the D drive because I got my room there, and that's where I keep them, so that's what I want to do. Okay, so some people like to go, you know, select your VM, go to File, Export Appliance, and then export it as an OVA file, and then you can import it into your, as a new VM onto your other drive if you want to go about that route, but we're not going to do that. And then some people also try to go to the VM, go to its storage, detach the uh, virtual disk, move it, or move the actual physical disk file there, and then reattach it in the new location. But I've found with that, most of the time you get a UUID error because it's kind of, the disk is already associated with the uh, previous location. So there might be a way to get around that, but no need since we have some other ways to do so. And so the way I'm going to show you, the first thing I'm going to show you is we're going to detach the virtual disk and move it from VirtualBox Manager rather than moving it, you know, dragging it or copying and pasting or cutting and pasting from one folder to another there. So what you want to do is you want to go to the settings for that VM. Actually, no, take that back. You want to go to the Virtual Media Manager, find the disk with that VM, and then you want to click on Move. Make sure the virtual machine is powered off, of course. So there's the current location. Click on Move. And then so I'm going to move it to my D drive here. Under VirtualBox VMs. And you want to make a new folder that corresponds with the uh, VM name. Otherwise, it's going to put it in the root here. So let's go New Folder. I'll call this Windows 10. Home 2, so it matches. Okay, go in that folder, click on Save. And then it's going to take a few minutes to actually move the file, so we'll be back after that. Okay, so now our file is moved. Let's go back in there and double check here. Okay, so now it's on the D drive. So now if we look here, we have our Windows 10 Home 2 with the file there, but we still have these two files left on the C drive. So if we were to move these over here, so there's nothing left in this folder here, now watch what happens when we start it. So we've got the logs folder so far, and so it's going to put files back in there. And I think it will actually put a different another file in there too. So anyways, so no matter how many times you go into this source file here, or source folder where the VM used to be, and delete the files that are in there, or even if you delete this, let me just kill this guy, it doesn't really matter because it's just a test. I'm going to delete this folder from the C drive, and let me start this guy up again. And you can see it puts that folder back, so that's part of the problem. That may or may not be okay with, with you as long as you have your large uh, disk file on your other drive. Okay, so let me kill this again. Okay, so then that's method number three. But the first one I showed you. So now for the last one we're going to do here, we're going to move this uh, Windows 10 Home original here to our D drive here using another method. So we find the VM here, right click on it and pick move. And then you want to find the folder here. So we're going to make a new folder. Okay, choose that folder. 
And then we're going to have to wait for this move process to finish again here. Okay, so the move is complete. So if we go to the settings of this one we just moved, go to the storage, click on the hard drive, so now it's on the D drive here. So now we have the original Windows 10 Home. Oh, it looks like I made a subfolder, so I guess you might want to not create the folder there since it's going to, when you do the move there, it actually creates the folder itself. So now we have a duplicate here. And let's see what we have here. So now it's gone out of the uh, C drive when it's on the D drive. So that's a much better way because it moves the folder and it doesn't leave any leftovers here. So let's start it up here and make sure it doesn't put anything back on the C drive. Okay, so nope. Kept everything moved onto the D drive. So once again, that's the way I recommend if you want to move your uh, virtual machine. Just, you know, right click on it, click on move, pick the location. But like I said, don't make the folder because just pick the root folder where you want. And because since it's going to move it, it's going to move the folder itself. Because if you make the folder like I did, it's going to put it inside as a subfolder. And just wait for it to be done and everything should be good. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.